Hello everyone, welcome back to Sea of Stars. Last time we defeated our second dweller and we actually destroyed it this time. And this time we're going into the mossy cache and it looks like we're gonna have to do some kind of sliding puzzle. And uh, let's just uh, check it out. I can choose anything. It's a rotating puzzle, okay. Not sure what it is that I'm trying to make. Something that matches up with something up here. So, like this. That looks like a good start. Oh, the borders have borders. That makes it very easy. What is that supposed to be? Oh, if you raise it up, then there's an item on top. What is this? Is it supposed to look like something? Is someone bow- ah, it's someone bowing down for some reason. Either praying or in surrender, you know, you don't know. It's an hourglass. Vial of time. This is it. Let's take it to Rashan. Assuming Rashan is actually a good guy. He seems a little mischievous for a super powerful being. Wait, which way do we go? I forgot. Oh! Hey look, a portal. <laughs> this will take us back to the tower. Probably would have made sense to end last episode on this scene. But whatever. Rashawn, we have your vial. It appears you do, but we should make sure it's not an imitation. Garl, would you kindly throw it at the wall? Uh? With all your strength. Won't it break? I hope so. Uh, okay. Whoa! Vial of time. Oh, I've missed you. Uh, what are you gonna do with that? Thank you for recovering my most prized possession. You've shown much bravery. Who better hold up to your end of the bargain now? No more errands! Oh, make no mistake, I am coming with you. Uh, what? Are you gonna be a party member? But my code is strict, so there are rules. First, I may assist in battle, but it's not my place to win for you. As such, I will match your power, but never exceed it. So, you're... he's becoming a party member. And he's gonna level up with the rest of us, even though he's this super powerful deity. You're you're really going to next no one other than the four of you can be aware of my true identity You are to refer to me exclusively as Rishan and most importantly never as the immortal alchemist uh, You got it might want to be extra careful around Teeks though Yeah, where's she right now? Lastly and most importantly I am under no circumstances allowed to fight a dweller if a confrontation occurs with the Dweller of Strife, that fight will be yours and yours alone. Understood. Shall we go then? Uh, Rashan? Yes? You can't come like this, your robes are all tattered. Well? Oh. <laughs> if you don't want people to know you're immortal, maybe clothes that have been decayed for millennia aren't the safest bet. <laughs> Uh, fair enough. Looks so much better. Totally. And lead the way. Mesa Island is to the northeast, the one with the giant stone head. Bull hot damn. That was unexpected. <laughs> It's nice to meet you, Teeks. I am also a traveler of sorts. Oops. 
You could say that. Now, wait a minute. There's more to you. <laughs> Call back. Uh, you're making me dizzy. I see. Don't worry. I won't tell. Would you mind, though? Uh, if you promise not to tell my true identity, you can have my story, yes. I promise. Just stand still for one second here. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, probably didn't think that one through very well, did you, immortal? Thanks. Hey, we were just wondering what to do with the glass dome. You can use it as a greenhouse. Come, I'll show you. Wait, what glass dome? Potion guys, welcome to stay, of course. Is he potion guy? Alchemist potion? Mesa Island, eh? That's where we're headed. I that be rough to the north of here. Big stone head, can't miss it. Just grab the wheel whenever you're ready. Oops. No, I want to go forward. We. Did you say north? Is this Mesa Island? This is not. It's some other island. I don't think she said north. I didn't pay attention. Okay, I'm actually pulling out the map this time. It was north. Hmm. Wait, let's look at this. The, you can ping parrot. Uh, A button. All clear. Touch left in Lake Takaria. Oh, the parrot tells you what there's what's up left here. Wheels champion on Wraith Island. Treasure and Solstice Shrine. The, ah, need to progress further. Wheels champion. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's go to let's go back to Settlers Island. What's this? Is this the Necromancer's Lair? I wonder. Ooh, there's giants under underwater. There's gonna be something here. Something's gonna happen here later in the game. What's up, people? Hey, Gerard, we got some stuff for you. Hey, look, it's the new people. Have you found any new building plans? Interesting. Let's get to work. That worked out nicely. Had you already found a professional to run the place? Have you found any new building plans? Oh yeah! Interesting, let's get to work. A shop has been unlocked in Mirth. We gotta see if it has good weapons. This music is really freaking good. A uh, fishing hut. That guy right next to us can do it. Let's get to work. This special lake will contain random selections for the species you've already caught. Okay, I guess I will never go there. I guess I already found people to, to do all that stuff. 
Yes, this will do so well. I can already hear our clients coming in. This place is perfect. Even better than I imagined. And over here is the fishing hut, right? We can go in and collect a bunch of stuff. Okay. Cool. Don't mind me just passing through with a magical hourglass. Where was that other one? Here it is. Oh, it's you. This is a really nice house. Thank you. I wasn't expecting so much. Oh, look at this. Log walls and a bookshelf and a nice chair. A decent bed and a whatever this is. A moon-shaped cat statue. Moraine's office key. Hey, can we take this? Sure. All right, well, I guess we're getting sidetracked again. Elder Moraine's house is all done. I have to say I'm pretty happy with the result. Oh, I just realized we could hop into the water. I'm going right back. See? What is there to find? There's ice! It must be cold here. Hey, hey! They built this up here, didn't they? Oh, it's another fishing sp It's the, actually just the same fishing spot. I'll just take this, if you don't mind. Well, maybe there's something on the other side of the fishing spot. Aha! I got another one! So now that we know there's a parrot that tells us if we missed stuff, and sort of where it is, completionism is on the table. I'm not really thinking I want to do it yet. Uh, however, there is supposed to be a good completion bonus for this game, so uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Well, we could go to the giant head statue, but of course, we just got a key. We have to see what's behind that door. And we still got this treasure chest we gotta figure out how to get to. I suspect it has something to do with crossing this thing up here, but I can't figure anything about that out. All right, so we get the key, of course, we come running right back here. What's gonna be past here? For all we know, it's gonna be some ultra post end game boss. That seems like the kind of thing, kind of place one of those would be. You guys wanna see my teacher study? I've never seen this before. What kind of books does he have? I want to know! What are the advanced books? Does he, does he have quantum physics? I want to know. Oh, wonderful. So there's... There's words? Sentences? Hmm... The first word might be uh, because it's one letter. Other than that, no idea. Hey Teeks, you got any idea? Moonstone Bracer. All right, we gotta remember. Guys, remind me that there's this tablet with an ancient language that we don't know how to read. That we might be able to decode. I mean, it's, it's all one word, right? So that it might be more Patreon backers. Who knows? It also might be a clue to some crazy treasure. Alright, what is a Moonstone Bracery? He cannot wear it. What are you wearing? Nothing. Moonstone Bracer, is that, is that a, a you only thing? Ah. Magic attack plus one, lunar shield cost minus two. That's pretty good. I want to keep this one on. Yeah, switching that. Now, can you use the other one? Yeah. 
All right, we're decked out. I kind of feel like that was underwhelming. I feel like there should be some dank secrets about the world. Maybe that's what the tablet is. If you notice anything in that room that I missed, let me know. And I'll come back. Oh, hey, it changed to nighttime while we were in there. Ah, so I had to talk to you again to get an equipment job. You've already equipped it. Um, for Valir, it would be plus 13 of one, minus six of the other. I think it might be worth it at this point. Not good. Um, uh, can the others equip it? I guess I, I might as well, right? Okay. I, mean, I got tons of money. Oh yeah, I have one of these that I haven't looked up yet. Salient sails. Increases sailing speed. Huh. I might do that. Uh, it is quite a lot of upgrade. Nah, I'll keep that. And I will sell some stuff. Alright, there's that. Um, and stuff that I will not need anymore. Presumably there is nothing at the end of the game that says, Oh, if you have a teal amber staff, you get the ultimate weapon. That'd be disappointing. Worse for everybody. Worse for everybody. Kind of worse. Worse for everybody. Worse for everybody. Too basic. And worse for everybody. Alright, we made a bunch of money that we're probably not going to spend. This game has not really had much... Like, one mechanic that, that they've not used very much is the buying and selling mechanic. It's just kind of... You always have enough money to buy the next thing. And that's sufficient. Which is really nice. I wish real life were like that. But it is not. Oh, the parrot is a relic. Oh, reminding... That's automatically on. Okay. Automatically timing. Ensures double hits on regular. Negates enemy defense bonus while casting. Enemies have defense bonuses while casting. <laughs> yeah, and then this is... Alright, so we've got the, the quality of life ones are on. Ah, we're sailing now. And then, of course, the difficulty ones will remain off. Unless there's some that are make the game harder, then we might try them. Mesa hike. And it's nighttime for some reason. Are you going to wake it up with your time vial? Now, 150 years should do it. Wait, if Garl threw it against the wall, did he make the wall go back in time? Good morning, Kukar. Master, have you come to check on my work? As you can see, I have not faltered. I commend your dedication. Thank you, Master. That eye is kind of creepy. The water has risen quite a lot. How long was I asleep? An irrelevant matter. Aphoral left a long time ago, and his acolytes have lost most of their powers. It will not happen again anytime soon. Lore that is going to become relevant in the future of this game. I understand. How can I help? These people are your friends. I understand. Your turn. Hello, Hukar. Greetings, friend. 
Can you help us in any way? My main duty is to hold Mesa Island at this precise altitude. Um... Were all the islands floating? <laughs> Anything I can do without hindering my grip, I'll gladly oblige, friend. Well then, could you remove the barrier so we can get onto it? Oh, surely you know of the evil castle that sits there. It's no place to send a friend. That's still where we're headed. I will not send friends into danger. I refuse. I mean, we could talk about why we're going there. That was some uh, cute storytelling. Rashawn walking up to Garl and Garl being like, oh, you want to be here. All right, all right, did you put him to sleep again and wake him up again? Now we're going to try again. Good morning, Kakar. Have you come to check on my work? It just erased his memories. Try again. Uh, just same thing? Uh, please. But say it differently. Hello, Kukar. Greetings, adventurer. Have you met my brother's extolled yeet? I can help you get to them in no time. Just sail into my mouth and choose a destination. The, okay, that does sound useful. For now, what we need is for you to remove the barrier on the island. I see. One moment, please. They send them back in time to a time when the barrier was not dangerous. Or like, like extract a version of him from a time when the barrier was not dangerous. Okay. Creepy. There it is. Thanks, Lar. Naturally. Safe travels, adventurers. Up we go then. Lead the way. Hey, you haven't used that on us, have you? No. So we're getting more, we're getting uh, the time things, the time and story thing is now becoming a mechanic, essentially. Oh, that castle looks evil. Autumn Hills. How many games have had a place called Autumn Hills? Is this another location from the messenger? Kind of sounds like it would be. Where are we going? Right up there. Can we hop back down? Because we get some honey, I think. There was a jar in there, along with the honey. Let's go! What are you? You're spiky. I am scared of finding out why you evolved those spikes. What else is here that eats you? Okay, let's start with a sun ball. Are you weak to sun? No, but it's pretty powerful. I did not know who you were attacking. All right. Okay, what do you do? You have, uh, you have an ultimate. Okay, it's poison. Soothing mist heals the party. Petricker. Ebb removes a random lock on the target. Plus one lock if timed. What does that mean? I guess I'll find out. Deals arcane damage while pulling enemies together. Well, let's see what this arcane damage is.
don't have any idea where the timing is on that one. All right, let's, um... Oh, right. There's more, more characters now. Are you weak to moon? No! I got some water from that. It was up and down. There's a treasure. Oak and armor. Is armor made of oak wood, which means it's, it's, it's not great. But it's better than Dockery. And we didn't need to buy that armor, we just did. We could have hopped down from here. Secret? There are no secrets in this game. No hidden secrets behind places you can't see. I did not register where this graphics was. I thought it I thought we were going into a tiny crack in the wall, but no, it's right here. What are you? Are you weak to sunball? No. You are weak to blunt. Or you unlock from blunt. Yeah, first try. Are you weak to abeyance? Pulls them close together. That means that our that these will hit more of them at once. Well, I don't know what they're weak to, but I know that I can kill them easily. Oh, you can climb this. I was like, how do I get there? Oh, right. You can do that. There may be secrets with that. Can I hop back down? Okay. I want the honey. Wait, how do I get back? Okay. Uh, how do I get across? Oh, the first time I just fell down. Make sure to miss the ladder so that you fall all the way. They just don't even have the rune anymore. Okay. <laughs> it just stacks up. How high of a leaf stack can we make? Great, I love it. Ooh. Valir and Rashan learned a combo skill. Arcane moons. We gotta try that out. All right, well, can we blow the leaf stack over there? Well, that takes care of it. See, this is what I was talking about. If I press right, it just goes between these two. I have to press a different direction to get up there. Now it just goes, like, pressing right over and over again. In older games, it would cycle through the enemies. And... Back then, when I played those games, I was like, I wish it would just choose the one that's to the right of them instead of cycling through. Now, I wish it would cycle through and say, you know, grass is greener on the other side. What's your spell? Mirror attack. Okay. That's a little tough, but not too bad. Who needs to break the lock when I can do this? Oh! He hits twice. 
All right. Yeah, I guess we if we want the platform to go over there, we can use the lever. <laughs> hey, there's a person down there. Are you an enemy in disguise? Some people, you're a merchant. Okay. It's good stuff. Music sheet. All right, RIP armor I just bought. 12 MP, pretty good. Do I have enough space? I do. Who needs to climb? You, you just minding your own business? I will mind my own business then. I seem to not be able to get onto this stump with this chest. Oh. This would do it. We want to be there to get to the other side. But if it's here, we can get the treasure. Oh, how did we enter the battle? Oh, it is vulnerable to some. Okay, uh, well, this is the wrong one. But we might as well try it, right? What does it do? Arcane Lunar Magic Damage to all targets. All right, enemies are dead. Wheat. That's quite the leap. Treasure. Maple cork. Is that a weapon for Rashan? Yeah, I guess the cork on your bottle makes a difference. I like this push block. I don't know if I've ever seen push blocks, I'm, I'm sure I must have, but like push blocks that have interactable things on top of them. This is cool. Jump. Oh. Oh, that's not attached. We can use our grapple. All right, I thought it was, there was just a, I thought it was, we were walking up to the tree and it was just too high for us to get. I see that over there. this little zone down. Hello, you guys practicing? Practice against me! What are those little things? Oh, they're just the same thing. Rook you across a deer. But they're not snowball ones this time. Alright, we use that to... To get them all into the same place. Not that it mattered, but it is something we can do. Oh, hey, I have combos. Have we done this one? Yeah, we have. Okay. We should do some healing. All right, we can still breathe underwater, which is nice.
going a little deeper than I expected. A recipe! This is taking long enough, it seems like it might be um, something important at the. Nope! Never mind. And then here we are, back at the place we saw on the other side. Nice shortcut. Oh, right. Hello, enemies. Don't mind if I just go past you. Because I can't. Ah, those things are vulnerable to poison. Let's try this again. It's not that great, honestly. I think it's just the combined magic damage. Also, Garl still did not get MP. This looks climbable later. Or maybe it's something up high. What is this? It's Maybe it's lore important. And make all the berry jam. The thing about berry jam though is that it's not that good. And so you want it you want to have it in the field to just restore your MP. But the only place you can get it is a campfire. And you automatically restore your MP at a campfire. So More enemies. That looks like a lot. I can I can get through though. Might as well. I don't feel like I'm underpowered at this point. Frick. I used the wrong person to break that lock. Quill shot. This is a new one. Ouch. Yeah, girl! Alright. Did that in order to get him some MP so we, we can do this. Because we need it. We haven't been to a campfire in a while. Ooh, look at the moon! Look at the evil castle! It's got a clock so you know it's evil. Hey, look what I found. Is this one of... okay. It wants it to be fully daytime to get in there. I'm just looking around. Is this just a fast way down or is there a secret? Yep, just a fast way down. All right, so let's set up a camp and let's read our new story. Uh, wait, where's Teeks? She didn't come with us? Okay, I guess we're not reading our new story. Finally on Mesa Island. Are you ready for the big confrontation? Something tells me the game is not about to end. The Clockwork Castle is on the east side of Mesa Island. We'll have to cross it on foot. You mean you don't have a land ship? We cross... we cross land on a land ship. Must be hard thinking about this whole Erlina and Brigade situation. I'm here, okay? It's nice to stretch my legs a bit. I've been sitting for 80,000 years.
All right, and I think that is a good time to finish up today. Next time, we'll go through the sun door and then traverse the land to the Clockwork Castle. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more What's This Game Called and other awesome games. I'll see you next time. Bye.